Well, I am on the road again up here in Illinois, uh, taking my truck wherever it, uh, wherever it needs to go. But there have been several changes in the Russian war in Ukraine, and I wanted to comment uh, about some of them. The most important thing that is going on right now is you can, you can see based on his actions that Putin is scared to death. He is more and more desperate. He is a strong man, okay? He was elected as a strong man. Uh, when he took the job from Gorbachev, uh, he, he, it, he, Gorbachev was seen as, as wanting to waffle between East and West, and Putin came in and said, no, that's not the way it's gonna be. I'm the strong man, I'll get it done. Now, he must win in Ukraine. He cannot back down. The, uh, he, he has gone on television and said that anyone opposing the war in Ukraine, in his country, are like gnats that fly into your mouth and must be spat out again. He has taken uh, young women college students who were protesting and sent his special people off to beat them during their interrogations. Um, he is coming down hard throughout his entire country saying that anyone who disagrees with this war is, is not in favor of the motherland. So he has to double down. He knows exactly what happens to strong men if they are perceived as weak. He cannot be perceived as weak. He cannot make compromise on this. He must, must, must win. He knows. Uh, he's seen what happened to Qaddafi when Qaddafi started to try and make adjustments. Uh, in the face of Western sanctions. And uh, uh, he and Qaddafi did not last long. All strong men know that there is one thing, one thing they must avoid. They must never be, they can be wrong. They can be wrong all day long. They can see the death of 100,000 citizens. That doesn't matter. They can see their economy go into the toilet. Who cares? They must not be seen as weak themselves. The second thing, the, the, now Putin was very, very right. At, at the outset of this invasion, he assumed that a great huge military power could just run in and run, run roughshod over a very uh, inferior military of Ukraine. And He's very right about that. There's only one thing that changed everything. The United States and Europe have been supporting Ukraine for a long time in their war with Russia. I mean, Russia took Crimea. We didn't do much. He rolled into the Donbass region. Eh, didn't do much. But then he finally went in to take over all of Ukraine. And then the United States and the European Union said, sorry, that's not gonna stand. You must give authoritarians a punch in the nose every decade, once every 10 years, or else they will attempt to take over all they can. Putin does not have a grand strategy for this. He is going as far as he is allowed to go. If we do not stop him, he will reinstitute the, uh, the Soviet buffer states uh, across his western border as a buffer between himself and Europe. That support from the, the United States and the European Union makes all the difference in the world to Ukraine. 
the countries that we decide to support for good or ill are the countries that are going to have the wherewithal. Now, there's one other thing that Ukraine has, and that is they are fighting for their homes. The Russians are not. That makes such a huge difference in morale. And now that the, uh, that the Russian ship, the Moskva, has been sunk and taken out of action, you, you may think, uh, you know, those ships never contributed much to the grand scheme of the invasion anyway. So what they, oh, it's a big deal. Morale makes so much of a difference. Here are these Russian soldiers gone from home fighting in a foreign country that they don't give a rip about it. And they're fighting Ukrainians supplied by the United States and the European Union with the latest technology, fighting for their homes and for their country on their own turf. That, that makes a huge, huge amount of difference. Can they, can they win? Uh, it all depends on what you mean by win. Can they take back, uh, can they take back the Donbass and the uh, Crimea? I don't even, I, I wouldn't think so. On paper, you would never expect it to be so. Can they make things hard enough that Putin reframes his line and says, well, I never meant to take anything but the eastern, uh, the Donbass part of Ukraine. And so I accomplished that. And we sure shot, taught those fascists a lesson. Um, maybe, maybe. But if he does, it'll be a big hit to his credibility. And he will, his job will become much, much harder to stay in power over the long haul.